you. Well, you know, I think we have to, because of the state of our culture, guys, I, I, I love this country to death the way only an immigrant can. Yeah? I love this country to death, but man, we've made a mess of it. You know, we've really made a mess of it. If you're trying to tell me that this is the best job we can do, this thing wouldn't even get a C, you know? <laughs> And I think that one of the problems I have as a teacher is that often we spend so much time disabusing students, administrators, ourselves of some basic lies. Yeah? And first of all, guys, is that despite what they tell you, an education is not about getting a job. They've tricked everybody into thinking that, well, no, I mean, Getting a job is really important, guys. Getting a job is really important. But the first reason we're in education is not because it somehow places you into your job. You know, it's, it's not an apprenticeship. It's not a work-study thing. Yeah? An education is what you embark in education to be transformed. I was never told this when I walked into college. I never got the operating guide, the instructions. An education is about you opening yourselves to new ideas and new experience so that you are transformed fundamentally, so that the young person who enters this process finishes this process and neither side of the process could recognize each other. You've transformed utterly. It's not about coming in and having your ridiculous myth system reinforced. And education is about that most dangerous thing, making you more critical-minded. And through the praxis of critical-mindedness, you are in some ways changed forever. That's the core belief, whether it's creative writing, whether it's physics, every component of education should be aimed at transforming you utterly. This is the only place that this is supposed to be foregrounded, but it has been stripped and made an extension yeah, of corporate human resources. Right. Colleges have been turned into human resources center. It's a number of reasons why this has happened. You know, it's just simpler to do that than to actually convince legislators that education is important because people have very simplistic ways of thinking when money's on the table. You know, I think that for me, there is no use to be in college if you're not receiving an education. And I myself went through my entire undergraduate career, four years at Rutgers, without receiving an education. My professors tried, my peers tried, but I went to college like this with my arms in front of me, so closed from new ideas because I was scared, because I'd never had new ideas shown to me in, in a good light the new and the strange was always negative. Just watch the news enough and you'll learn that lesson. Because I was afraid that if I opened myself up, I would be like made strange, you know? All the different reasons. I was afraid that if I actually got into a conversation with my professors, if I put myself on the table, I would fail or I would look like a fool or I would look wrong, yeah? Because you can't get an education unless you participate unless you drop your fist down from in front of you, unless you drop your force field and you get into the game. My first four years, guys, were a wash. I got a college degree. I got a check mark for the human resource component of it, but I received no education. It was only when I went to graduate school, and thank God I went to graduate school, that I actually had a second chance and an opportunity to be transformed, where I suddenly began to drop my fist down began to open myself up to the possibility that an education was more than a resume building exercise. And it's important. But look, it's easy to say this, right? But for y'all who are young, you know the pressure is on. That there is no space anymore for being idealistic. They hit you with so many loans, you have to work your way through these places, yeah? They've cut back on all sorts of support. They've made this almost an untenable position. <laughs> to convince young people of education means to resist the entire society, right. which has turned this all into a resume-building exercise.